Allie would like some help writing a rule for a linear function whose graph has a slope of negative one-third and a y-intercept of negative two. Okay, so you've been asked to write a function rule for a linear function whose graph has the slope uh, uh, m of negative one-third. So m is negative one-third and y-intercept, which is b, of negative two. All right, so let's take a look at this information. I already had, uh, I sort of sketched this out on a graph for you here to try and match what you'd said. You said that your y-intercept was negative two, b was negative two. So that means that your line crosses the y-axis at negative two. So here's our, our y-axis up and down. Our x-axis goes left to right. So at negative two on our y-axis, there's a point where your function hits. There's a, a value there. So we know that there's actually a value of x is 0, y is negative 2. Now the other thing we know, you said that your slope was negative 1 third. So that means that your line goes up, the slope is rise over run. Your line either goes up 1 and then back or left 3, or it goes down 1 and right 3. So rise over run. And run, by default, goes to the right. So if it's a positive run, it goes to the right. In order to get a negative 1 third, we either need a negative 1 divided by 3, or a negative 3, well, a positive 1 divided by a negative 3. So either we need a positive rise, which is up, and then a negative run, which means we'd go to the left, or we need a negative rise, which would be down, and a positive run, which would be going to the right. So either way, let's say we take the first instance. Let's say we have a positive rise, so we go up one, and a negative run, so we go left three. So we go up one, up one point, and then left three points. That takes us to this value right here. X is negative one, negative two, negative three, y is negative 1. If we use the other option, if we go down 1, right 3, we go down 1 point from our original, and right 3 points, then we get over to this point right here. So here's what our graph looks like. Now what we need to do is write this as a function rule. Now the nifty thing about writing a function rule when you have this information is that you can use the uh, slope-intercept form, which looks like y equals mx plus b. Now that slope-intercept form is great in your case because you're given m and you're given b. So we can just take the values that we have for those two things, negative one-third and negative two, and put them into our standard form. And we'll get y equals negative one-third, oops, negative one-third x minus two, because we're doing plus b and b is a negative two, so we're subtracting two from it. So we've just substituted in the values we were given for m and b, and now we have the function rule, y equals negative one-third x minus two, for this line right here. And if you wanted to find any point on this line, all you'd have to do is pick a value for x, multiply it by negative one-third, and subtract two. You'd get the y value that goes with it, and that point would be right on this line somewhere.